Hi there, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 10th of March. Structures come into focus very much this week, so if you are involved in anything to do with property, it wouldn't really be a surprise. But that doesn't necessarily mean that every Leo is going to be moving home. Perhaps you're thinking about adapting where you're living at the current time. This could be in a more cosmetic way, perhaps it can be in a more uh, fundamental way, some kind of extension or improvement scheme. But structures are something that can go on inside of us as much as outside of us. It doesn't have to just be at a tangible level. It can be more at a spiritual and emotional level. And something can be altering deep within you. And as this alteration occurs, it can give you a greater sense of security. However, there may be someone else close to you who is going to prove to be a little bit trickier to deal with this week. Because ironically, Saturn is actually forging a sharp right angle with Mercury. Now Mercury is in a very positive location for you, giving you the opportunity to hear other people's viewpoints and not take them so personally if they don't confer with yours. It also gives you an opportunity to articulate your ideas. And with Venus in this part of your horoscope too, Generally, you would have thought relationships would be going well, but there may be one person who seems to be completely out of sorts or tends to be a bit of a damp squib. So every time you express an enthusiasm about something, they seem to be the one who wants to put it down, quell it. But perhaps this is to do with their stuff rather than yours. And you just need to be conscious of just what the balance is. Are you looking for too much approval from them? Or should it be that maybe they should be a bit more pleased for you? If they're not, try to step back and see this might not be anything to do with you at all. In fact, Venus actually forges two quite brilliant angles this week. One is with Neptune, which pretty well goes on all this week, suggesting that you should just look beneath the surface. If there is someone who's shown an interest in you, it might not be flagged up in a very obvious way. And then towards the end of this week, Venus forges a superb link with Uranus, and this is much more exciting, suggesting some kind of spontaneous connection. And if you're footloose and fancy three, some real excitement can concur with the very end of this week. In an existing relationship, this is just a reminder that we all need to keep things fresh, and either you or your partner could push to do something off the cuff. And if things have become rather too predictable, then this is an opportunity to just put a little bit more colour and magic back into the tie. But as the week draws to a close, there is a full moon. And this full moon suggests that when it comes to your financial situation, something may need some care, particularly around just balancing the need to spend money in the here and now to keep things stable in your monthly budget against being conscious of the impact on your long-term future. Some kind of debt could come up or a reminder on an invoice which could be a bit surprising and put you on the back foot so this is probably not the best of times to be too frivolous with money but your emotional communications are now boosted by the north node and that's combining with mars this week so if you do need to speak to anyone you can do so but in a way which can be very persuasive as long as you're being genuine in what you have to say. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.